The Champions League anthem echoed through Villa Park, a sound that had been absent for over four decades. The air was thick with anticipation, and the floodlights illuminated the historic ground, casting long shadows over the pitch where legends once played. This was no ordinary night. The energy was palpable, a collective heartbeat of thousands who had waited for this moment. Fans, young and old, chanted in unison, their voices merging into a powerful chorus that reverberated through the stands. This was a night 41 years in the making. Generations of supporters had passed down stories of glory, of nights when Villa Park was the epicenter of European football. Tonight, those stories were coming to life once more. Aston Villa were back in Europe's elite competition. The players, donning the iconic claret and blue, walked onto the pitch with a sense of purpose. They were not just representing a club, they were carrying the hopes and dreams of an entire community. The weight of history was heavy, but the sense of anticipation was palpable. Every face in the crowd told a story of loyalty, of unwavering support through the highs and lows. The players too felt the gravity of the occasion, their expressions a mix of focus and determination. The fans adorned in claret and blue created an electric atmosphere. This was their night. The flags waved, the banners soared and the chants grew louder with each passing minute. It was a celebration of identity, of pride and of a shared dream. The last time Aston Villa graced this stage, they went on to lift the European Cup. That triumph had become a cornerstone of the club's rich history, a beacon of what was possible. The echoes of that victory still resonated, inspiring the current squad to reach for greatness. This team, under the guidance of Unai Emery, carried the hopes and dreams of a generation. Emery, with his tactical acumen and experience, had instilled a belief in the squad. They trained with intensity, each session a step closer to their ultimate goal. They were eager to write their own chapter in the club's illustrious history. The journey started now. With every pass, every tackle and every goal, they aimed to etch their names alongside the legends of the past. The road ahead was long and fraught with challenges, but tonight they took the first step towards reclaiming their place among Europe's elite. Young boys, the Swiss champions, stood in their way. The underdogs they may have been, but they were not to be underestimated. They had already shown their mettle in the qualifying rounds. Villa Park, however, was a different beast altogether. The roar of the halty end reverberated around the stadium. The atmosphere was electric. You could feel the tension and excitement in the air. Both teams lined up, ready to leave their mark on this historic night. The whistle blew and the battle commenced. Aston Villa started brightly, dictating the tempo from the outset. The midfield trio of Douglas Luiz, Bubakar Kamara and Yuri Tielemans controlled the game. Their passing was crisp, their movement fluid and their pressing relentless. Young boys struggled to cope. Then came the breakthrough. A sweeping move down the left flank saw Ollie Watkins deliver a pinpoint cross. Tielemans arrived at the edge of the box, unleashing an unstoppable volley that flew past the helpless young boys goalkeeper. Villa Park erupted. The Champions League dream was alive. Unai Emery, the mastermind behind Villa's resurgence, watched on intently from the touchline. His game plan was working to perfection. The high press was stifling young boys' attempts to build from the back. The midfield trio were winning every second ball. Emery's decision to start with Jacob Ramsey ahead of Leon Bailey proved to be a masterstroke. Ramsey's pace and trickery caused havoc in the young boys' defence all night. He was a constant threat, and it wasn't long before he got his reward. The second half started much like the first, with Aston Villa in complete control. The players moved with confidence, their passes crisp and precise, dictating the tempo of the game. Every touch of the ball seemed to be a step towards an inevitable victory. The fans could feel the energy, the anticipation building with each passing minute. Then came a moment that brought a tear to the eye of every Villa fan. The atmosphere in the stadium was electric, a mix of hope and nostalgia. The crowd, a sea of claret and blue, held their breath as the play unfolded. It was a moment that transcended the game itself, a tribute to a legend. A flowing move saw Ramsey played through on goal. The build-up was a masterclass in teamwork, each player knowing their role to perfection. Ramsey, with his eyes set on the target, broke through the defense with a burst of speed. The defenders could only watch as he surged forward, the goal in his sights. 
He kept his composure, slotting the ball past the on-rushing goalkeeper. The celebrations were wild. Teammates swarmed around him, the joy on their faces reflecting the significance of the moment. The stands erupted in cheers, a wave of emotion sweeping through the crowd. It was more than just a goal. It was a moment of pure, unbridled joy. This goal was for Gary Shaw, the Aston Villa legend who sadly passed away a few weeks earlier. Shaw was more than just a player. He was an icon, a symbol of the club's proud history. The fans held up banners and scarves, a tribute to the man who had given them so many unforgettable memories. Shaw was a key part of the European Cup winning team of 1982. His skill and determination were instrumental in that historic victory. The footage of him lifting the cup, a young man with a bright future, was etched in the minds of every Villa supporter. It was a reminder of the glory days, a time when anything seemed possible. His spirit lived on in this young Villa side. The current team, inspired by Shaw's legacy, played with the same passion and commitment. They knew they were part of something bigger, a tradition of excellence that spanned generations. As they celebrated, they honoured not just a goal, but a legend whose memory would never fade. If the second goal was special, the third was simply sublime. A quick counter-attack saw substitute Philippe Coutinho thread a delightful through ball to Aaron Ramsey. He controlled the ball with his right foot and unleashed an unstoppable shot with his left. The net rippled. Ramsey wheeled away in celebration, a brace on his Champions League debut. He was unplayable that night. But it wasn't just Ramsey. Every single Aston Villa player was outstanding. Emiliano Martinez in goal was a commanding presence, making a string of crucial saves. The final whistle blew and Villa Park erupted once more. Aston Villa had done it. They had announced their return to the Champions League in style. The players celebrated with the fans, who had played their part in a famous victory. The noise was deafening. This was a night that would live long in the memory of everyone connected with Aston Villa Football Club. It was a night that proved that this club was back where it belonged. Section 8. A Statement of Intent this wasn't just a win, it was a statement of intent. Aston Villa had arrived on the biggest stage of all. They had shown that they could compete with the best. The journey was just beginning, but the future looked incredibly bright. Emery's tactics, the players' commitment, and the fans' unwavering support had all come together to create something truly special. This was a team united, a team on a mission. Section 9. The Champions League dream begins. The Champions League dream was alive and kicking. Aston Villa had waited 41 long years to hear that anthem again. Now they were determined to make the most of it. The group stage was just the first hurdle. The players, the manager and the fans all shared the same belief. This team could achieve anything. The journey had just begun and the possibilities were endless. Section 10. The future is bright under Emery. Unai Emery had worked wonders since taking over at Villa Park. He had instilled a winning mentality in the squad. He had brought back the feel-good factor to the club. And now, he had guided them back to the Champions League. Emery was building something special at Aston Villa. He had a clear vision for the future, and he had the players to make it a reality. The future was bright, and the fans couldn't wait to see what it held. Section 11, a legacy forged in claret and blue. This was a night that would forever be etched in Aston Villa folklore. The atmosphere was electric, the air thick with anticipation and hope. Fans from all walks of life came together, united by their love for the club, their voices echoing through the night. It was a night that showed the world what this club was all about. The players, with their unwavering determination and skill, demonstrated the true spirit of Aston Villa. The fans, with their unyielding support, proved that they were the heart and soul of the club. It was a night that proved that dreams really do come true. The journey had been long and arduous, filled with challenges and setbacks, but the team had persevered. Their hard work and dedication had paid off, and they stood victorious, a testament to the power of belief and resilience. Aston Villa were back, and they were here to stay. The victory was not just a moment of triumph, but a statement of intent. The team had shown that they had the talent, the drive, and the passion to compete at the highest level. 
They had reclaimed their place among the elite, and they were determined to stay there. The legacy of 1982 was safe in the hands of this talented and determined group of players. They had honored the past while forging a new path for the future. The spirit of the legendary team of 82 lived on in their hearts, inspiring them to reach new heights. The future was unwritten, but one thing was for sure. Aston Villa would be a force to be reckoned with. The foundations had been laid, and the team was ready to build on their success. With the unwavering support of their fans and the guidance of their dedicated coaching staff, the sky was the limit for Aston Villa. The journey was far from over, and the best was yet to come.